Problem 6.3-1. A vertical internal resultant shear force acts on the cross-section of the beam. Determine the maximum shear stress on the cross-section. The cross-section is a C-channel. The dimensions are given. Let's solve this problem. To solve this problem, we need to know where the neutral axis is located. and We can find that uh, using the uh, formula to find the centroid uh, location y bar. We also need to know the moment of inertia about the neutral axis. Now previously in problem 6.2-1 we found y bar and the moment of inertia about the z-axis for this cross-section. They are given here. To find the maximum shear stress we're going to be using the shear formula which I've written. And the maximum shear stress on a cross-section will occur at the neutral axis. So that means when we find our values for Q and T, it will be relative to the neutral axis location. So let's find Q first. Q is equal to A prime times Y bar prime. And A prime is the area above or below the point where we are evaluating shear stress, which in our case is the neutral axis. So the area, A prime, will be the area above or below. Well, clearly it's going to be easier to find the area uh, below the neutral axis. So A prime is shown by the hatched area. It's going to be two of those legs. Now Y bar prime is the distance from the centroid of A prime to the neutral axis. And if the height of this rectangle here is two inches, uh, then uh, Y bar prime is just one inch. And we get a value for Q of two inches cubed. Now filling in the values uh, for the variables in the shear formula. The internal resultant shear force was 4 kips. Q is 2 inches cubed. Moment of inertia is 4.167 inches to the fourth. And T is the width of the member at the point where we're evaluating uh, the shear stress. And that's going to be the width of this leg on this side and the width of the leg on the right side. And that's going to be a, uh, a total of one inch. And this gives us a value for sh maximum shear stress, which is at the neutral axis, to be 1.92 KSI. And we're done.